dog broke down. <laughs> I've got my washing machine going. So excuse me, yes, my washing machine is actually in the hallway. This is a video about having no kitchen in my house in Croatia, getting ready for Renos. So this is our makeshift kitchen. If you've seen, oh, I forgot to say, I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. If you've seen any other videos of my house, of our house we bought, this is the kitchen and we've just, hi, and we've just closed off the door because it's pretty gross in there. We were gonna use it as our temporary kitchen, but there wasn't even a sink in there. And then we were gonna get one put in, but it kind of seems worthwhile. No, it doesn't seem worthwhile, sorry, tired. It doesn't seem worthwhile for the Renault starting soon-ish. So this is what we've come up with. This was all just empty space when we moved in. So I'll start at the beginning. <laughs> This is our chili bin, as we call them in New Zealand. This is our cat who's been playing in an old barbecue. She likes the old barbecue, as you can tell, she's usually white. So yeah, we've got a chili bin that was quite handy when we had no power. That's another story that some of you probably know about. I won't go into that. So yeah, in New Zealand, we call them chili bins. In Australia, they call them eskies. So that's been quite handy. And then we've just got a protein supermarket box full of stuff, the rice cooker, some old headphone earmuff things. <laughs> like, if you didn't know, we bought a container over from New Zealand of our five bedroom house, and most of the stuff is in storage, so we had to cherry pick what to bring here. We had to go through boxes, it was really difficult. Just, yeah, and our stuff had been in storage for a long time. Anyway, I bought this from France. I got it sent over since I've lived in Croatia for 14 months now. And it's just become so handy for our cutlery in this situation. And guys, I can't believe you can buy plastic straws in Croatia. You can't even buy them in New Zealand anymore. I was so shocked to find them. Anyway, I digress. So I've just got some wipes and a scrub mummy, whatever it's called there, some salt and paper towels and a couple of bananas. And this is my sink. Another thing about living in Croatia, if you're Croatian, I don't know, I cannot find dish brushes anywhere. I found one once ages ago in Amish, um, in a shop, I can't remember what it's called. But the supermarkets just don't have them, you know, with the handles? Anyway, <laughs> if you know where one is, let me know. We you know I can buy them. So that's my sink. High tech, favourite colour. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked up a chopping board and I also went to buy a few things because we there's lots and lots and lots of kitchen boxes and I didn't want to go through all the boxes just to find a chopping board so like you know it was easier to um, just buy one so microwave like a toaster sandwich maker thing which we've bought both those things here we had them at the house we were staying in Bought a new kettle since I've been here, so that's good because they're all, you know, Croatian plugs. And that's our water filter. It's a Berkey water filter, if you know about water filters. But we want to buy the stainless steel housing. And in New Zealand, we were going to buy it, but it was $450 just for the housing that the filter goes on. So we never did it. We just got food grade buckets. But we just want to do that at this stage. And I've got some baskets. I bought these at ESC and I actually met a subscriber earlier in the week. It was so, I'm quite an introverted person and she was so lovely. And I was like, oh, what do I say? I'm probably saying really dumb things. So it was really cool to meet someone who recognized me. It just It was just so surreal. Anyway, so I picked up some baskets. So I've got just like, linens and things like that in there and this one I've got some plastic containers I picked up some 
plates from Pivx. Haven't even used the side plates yet. But to be honest, I've been using a lot of paper plates because it's a real pain <laughs> to wash the dishes in here. So this is, this is here, is our living room slash bedroom. That's just how we're living at the moment. I'll do a separate video and show you all that. But if I turn back around, here's the washing basket, my husband's toolbox from New Zealand that he's had forever, some stuff. <laughs> and so this island is actually our island that we bought from New Zealand. When I, when we had our house, when we put the house in the market in New Zealand, the island was going to stay, but when we left and we were filling up our shipping container, the house hadn't sold, so we just thought we'd bring it. I absolutely love this island, it weighs a ton. And because I've got a thing about dragonflies, I had actually added that myself. So I'm kind of glad we've got it. It's, you know, it reminds me of home, even though I love Croatia, it's my new home. So I've put up a previous video of buying a new fridge from Pivx, so the fridge just sits there. And the washing machine doesn't fit through the doorway into the bathroom. And we were thinking we could just make the wall bigger, but then we have to be careful of the light switch because we're doing total gut job renovations anyway. But we just thought, oh, well, we'll just leave it here. <laughs> so that's it there. And the cats, I have two cats again now. I had one that, sadly passed away and and then the little one now the little one's grown up and we've got another kitten so this shelf i had bought from ikea here in croatia and we had it at our other house and we were still needing some more storage in our kitchen <laughs> inverted commas kitchen so i just decided to put it right up against the stairs it kind of makes sense and I know it looks like we have no food. <laughs> we did buy a barbecue as well this week. Last week? I can't remember. We, we moved in nine days ago. We haven't actually bought a gas bottle for it yet. So we've just been eating supermarket roast chickens every night. <laughs> like we, we go protein one night, consume the next night. <laughs> just So it's not that we haven't bothered, it's just... Well, we actually didn't bother when the power started going off as well because the power went off for nearly 24 hours at one stage this week. So it was quite good that we didn't do a big like fridge stock or anything. So this is just what we got. Picked up a new brush and shovel from Esk. Got some glasses from Esk, some glasses from Pevex. Yeah, so that works good. It's chalky. So, one day, one day very soon, this room will be the kitchen to the right, and the kitchen will be my husband's office. I just closed the door because it got noisy, but it has been a bit chaotic, and I really don't mind living like this. We'll get there. It's not forever, and that's what keeps me going when I'm washing the dishes in the blue bowl and the sink in the bathroom. But yeah, it's all part of the adventure of renovation. And then when the reno start, we'll have to find other ways of coping as well when there's no kitchen. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you really soon. Bye.